Hello and welcome to Venslo Academy. In this course, Introduction to Cybersecurity, we will be focusing on security by design. So first, what is information security? The term information security and cybersecurity in general can be broken down into three different principles. Number one, availability. Number two, integrity. And number three, confidentiality. So let's take a closer look at these three principles. The first one, availability. The information must be available to access and use all the time and with reliable access. Certainly, it just must be true for those who have the right access. So, availability meaning that our data and our resources must be available all the time. So we need to take protective measures to assure that this principle of availability is met. Because people can use Dutch DOTS and DDoS attacks on us, meaning that they will try to lay down our service, meaning that it will be unavailable and we can't access the data as we need. Also, availability can be compromised by the use of ransomware, where people encrypt our data, meaning that we cannot access it before we pay them a certain amount. Next principle, integrity. Avoid the improper unauthorized information modification or destruction. Here is included ensure the non repudiation and information authenticity. Again, we need to ensure that no one is accessing our data without having the right privilege and they should not be allowed to modify or destroy anything. And this is again something that we have to take protective measures to avoid because if someone get unauthorized access to our database, they can modify our data in a way that benefit the hackers or the people with bad intents or they can simply destroy all our data meaning that our service or application will be worth nothing because we don't have any data anymore. Consider if Facebook suddenly got all the data and all their backup deleted <coughs> then it's just an empty web page because the entire service rely on all the data that people have provided. The last principle, confidentiality. We must preserve the access control and disclosure restrictions on information and we must guarantee that no one will break the rules of personal privacy and property. Again, here we need to take protective measures because people can, for example, use man in the middle attacks where they are sitting in between us and a given server and once we communicate with the server and giving the server our private information or the server is returning information about us to us when we are logging into for example Facebook if someone succeed to make a man the middle attack they are capable of viewing this information which they have no right to and this is a private data package that they are actually viewing so it's very important that we in all these principles take protective measures and have focus on each and every one of them to ensure that we have information security so in this course we will focus on the approach security by design this means that we will have security in from the start of our application meaning that when we are defining our requirements we have security in mind when we are designing again we have the security in mind when we are building and deploying this means that we are not only focusing on security in the last two step when building and deploying but the security has been taken into account when we made the requirements because then it is much more likely that we call uh, given mistakes and we have made protective measures that migrate the given threats that we have. So in the next lecture we will look at threat modeling, how we can in the requirement phase use use cases to define what our application needs to do and also what threats might be to a given requirement and how we could migrate these threats. See you in the next lecture.